We somehow think that we're happier if we have more options, because when we have more options, we can choose from more options and therefore we will be happier with the option that we choose because then we can find the best option and we don't have to settle for less. But is that really the case? And yes, if you have more options, you do have more to choose from. However, having more to choose from doesn't make you happier because it's very, very tiring. That is because we make decisions with a brain region called the prefrontal cortex up here and that brain region expends a lot of energy so if we use it too much then we're going to feel worn out. Think of making decisions like a muscle. If you use it, it will grow. However, if you use it too much at once, and this is often the case in our society nowadays, then you are going to be depleted of your energy. And there are lots and lots of studies that show that we really don't like making decisions, especially if we have to choose from many options. So in one study, they offered the participants, in this case customers, samples of jam and coupons with which they could then buy these jams. In this study, they wanted to see whether the number of choices affected their interest in buying the jam. And it did. Surprisingly, they were less, not more likely, to buy if they had 24 samples of jam offered compared to six. And in a very, very similar study, they offered samples of either six or 30 different chocolates, which they then could taste. And they were then paid for the time they had spent tasting the chocolates. And I don't know about you, but I really wish I had been one of those participants. I mean, what a wonderful study in which you can be actually paid for trying chocolate. I mean, what more do you want? But that's, that's not the point of the study. The actual point of the study isn't how great it is to be um, paid for chocolates. What's actually the point of the study is that after they tasted the chocolates, they could, they could choose to either be paid in money or more chocolate. And those who had only been offered six different types of chocolates were more likely to choose chocolate over money. And in another study, this time on doctors, when they got information on certain medicine, 82% of those prescribed it. However, when they also got information about a second type of medicine that also cured the same disease, 48% decided not to prescribe either. Not only do we dislike making decisions in which there are too many options, we also like the options less once we've chosen them, the more options we have. So for example, in a study with college students who took a photography course, they made many photos and could keep one. And these college students were then split into two groups. One group could, after they decided which one they wanted, couldn't give it back anymore to exchange it for another one. Whereas the second group could, if they changed their minds that they wanted to keep another photo, they could swap the photo they had chosen previously for the other one. And for that group who could choose whether they wanted another one instead, they were less happy with their choice. This also explains why, although it is easier to find partners nowadays through dating sites, and in general, we can now drive to other places, which of course, in the days back then, very far back then, wasn't the case. The age of when we get married increases more and more over time. Now, shouldn't it be easier to find the right one? Isn't that the point of all these different opportunities that it's easier for us to find the right one? And therefore, because we find the right one earlier, we also marry earlier because we're more satisfied with the option we've chosen. Yet, we are less certain about whether we want to commit and less satisfied. But why exactly is that the case? So apart from the fact that we don't like having so many choices, it's difficult to commit to one single choice when there's so many different options out there of which you may be thinking, maybe that would have been better or maybe the other one would have been better because we compare the option we've chosen with all these other options that might have been better or not. However, we don't only dislike making decisions and we don't only like 
the options less than we then choose from, it gets worse. Having all these options also makes us make worse decisions and of course making worse decisions is going to make us unhappier. Remember how at the beginning I mentioned that willpower is kind of like a muscle and that if you use it too much then it gets worn out. So there's this study um, that Roy Baumeister led where participants had to watch a sad movie and these participants were split into two groups again. So one group they had to suppress their emotions while they're watching this very, very emotional film. Whereas the others, they could just cry as much as they wanted to. They didn't have to suppress their emotions. And then after that film, they were asked to try and press a hand gripper as long as possible. And those who had to suppress their emotions and therefore use their willpower in the first round gave up way earlier than those who didn't. That, by the way, is the reason why Barack Obama, Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg always use the same t-shirt. Of course, not exactly the same one. That would be pretty gross if they always wore the smelly t-shirt on. The same t-shirt as in they had more t-shirts that were exactly the same. So, <laughs> not, not that you think, oh gosh, they must be really smelly. <laughs> And the reason why they do that is because they know that they have to make these really, really important decisions. And therefore they want, don't want to use their ability for making decisions on decisions that are less important. So they try to create their environment in a way in which they make as few decisions as possible so that when they make a decision, they make a good one. So if you want to be happier you should actually kind of narrow your options if you want to know how to prioritize you can watch this video here